So my name is Angel Anaya and I am 17 years old. I go to Atrisco Heritage Academy High School and something that would uh, make my, high, uh, my education experience better is having a more individualized, more personal uh, education where I have the choice to create my own classes based on my needs. So good morning. My name is Alonso Estrada. I am a senior at Atrisco Heritage Academy and what would make my high school or education experience better would be better food system. I know myself, um, I have to eat or else I get like migraines or serious headaches. So therefore I would love it if the APS school, APS system or just the education system itself would give me or would give the whole school better lunch system. Therefore we would get, you know, that, that good quality food, not that just that warm up microwave type of food. My name is Jacob Oligier. And uh, I went to, Al I mean, I'm going to Albuquerque High School. And uh, something that would make my uh, school experience a little bit better is, I mean, in high school, um, you know, putting like more culture into the curriculum and like, I don't know, studying more things like pop culture and then studying why that like trends caught on and studying why like it's so influential and people were infatuated with these ideas, you know? Yeah. Cool. What would it, what would it be about culture that you would like to add on? like? What is specifically? I don't know. So like, you know, we always hear about like the like, there's um, like different types of cultures, right? So first we gotta define what like culture is. Mm -hmm. But for example, like, you know, like the rap culture, yeah. like I've been watching documentaries on Netflix, like the Rapture documentaries, mm -hmm. and there's a culture within like music and mm -hmm. hip hop and rap. And it's like, you know, a lot of old people once said like, oh, it's just a little trend. Like it'll die off in a couple years, but now it's like the number one genre and it's like, with pop culture, it's like a lot of these trends can end up becoming like long-term things. So it's like, why don't we like integrate those studies into like curriculum? I don't know. So then you're not just talking about like religion or like religion culture, but like more like culture as in itself or what we believe is culture. Like you yeah. said, like the rap culture. I mean, there's like a ton of different cultures. Like basically every like culture mm -hmm. is just another way to say bandwagon. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just hop on the bandwagon. You of know course, I mean? yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I would go with you like how you were talking about like your, uh, like the rap culture. I would talk about myself like for the art culture. Because I know in my school is like very like, um. It, it, it lacks uh, the information about culture in itself. Like I myself, I'm a graffiti artist and a lot of people uh, don't accept graffiti as a form of art yeah. just because, you know, it's often, you know, in ditches or like walls or in private property and like it's, it's done illegally. Mm -hmm. Therefore, people see it like as something that's not acceptable. And I myself, I believe that, you know, art is just something that you do and that you find appealing and it doesn't matter if it's on the street or if it's in a canvas, if it's in a frame or if it's in a museum, every, it, whatever you do is where you find art. So that's what I would add to you, like yeah. just that, that art culture. So like people would be like informed about it and not just go to art class and be like, oh, these are lines, shapes and forms and you know, lighting. Like yeah. it's, not, it's not just the basics, it's about like what it is to us and what it means to us. Also going on that, uh both music and art, as you say, are both, um, they're more creative, more uh, visual. Mm -hmm. And that basically, all in all, it's music is art, basically. Yeah, true. So uh, what, I, what I think would help us all is uh, more, because the United States as a whole, um, individualized, it is poor quality in uh, mathematics, pr uh, language, sciences. But what do we excel out at? Um, it's basically we excel at movies, music. So why can't we create a class or basically something that helps us build on what we already naturally have that is great? Exactly, exactly. Like, I feel like the problem in schools in general is that there is a curriculum and that teachers often when they start, like when they start being teachers, I feel like they're being told to like follow that and to like follow it like directly like they can't go like offline a little bit because then they get all worried and think like something bad's gonna happen right like they're always expect like teachers are always like worrying about the bad things that could happen instead of like actually like trying to like show us like the value of what they're teaching us like I mean? like we said schools are basically designed to make us follow and not create our own paths uh -huh. exactly. like the only the only time where we're actually encouraged to create our, our own paths is past the level of high school into college going into where we could pick our own individual classes and create that 
personalized education that we so dearly need before. Yeah, exactly. And I think also a big uh, thing about school is that most students, they feel like they go to school just to go to school. Like yeah. They don't know like, like the, the deeper meaning of it. Like, what does this all really mean? Like, I mean, like, it's like going back to like that concept of like, you know, like marketing, like, you know, like if you want to sell something to someone, you make them realize like why they need it. And like you, you put, you make them realize like, why is it important? And then, so like, if we just take that concept of like, basically um, you, you put value onto something or you make something important and then someone can buy your product. It's like, if you make like, I don't know, kids realize that like your education is important, then they'll buy into this whole idea that, well, I need to start like, you know, actually learning and applying myself in these schools to like build a better future, you know what I mean? Well, it's yeah. Exactly. And I was gonna say, going back to what you said in the beginning, how making more like a personalized and individualized school. Yeah. In every school, we hear that you know high school is preparing us for college. But I feel like throughout sixth grade to twelfth grade, it all stays the same. You go to a it class, you sit down, you take notes, you take tests, and then that's it. Like I feel like there's like no real preparation of like what you want to do in college because it's different in college. Mm -hmm. What you want to do in college is you want to take classes that belong to you and that what you want to do as your profession. And in high school, you just get taught the same things, but like higher level as you go like school. Example for math, ninth grade you learn algebra one, tenth grade you learn ge geometry, and then in eleventh grade you learn algebra two. Like where I feel like it should be like more advanced and more individualized as what you want to do as a person and as your profession. Mm. Sounds like a trade school, you know what I mean? Or like, you know how like they say like four year college is good, but like at the same time there's trade schools to show you like certain professions. It's like that. But I mean like damn. I don't even know. It's like, you know, if yeah. if someone knows what they want to do, but I guess it goes back to that thing where it's like, well, these kids don't know what they want to do, and it's usually like they're gonna be if we if we give them this opportunity to like go into high school, like it's almost like college, like where you get to choose what you want to do. It's kind of like, well, they don't know what they want to do, so they're most likely gonna go to the, like the option that like they've been around, they've been around like since they were kids. Like yeah. I don't know, like. Yeah. Like if their dad works construction and then like they don't know like the like the excruciating pain that they go through just to work construction but like they get into high school and then there's an opportunity to go into construction and like they don't really know that they might be super interested in like i don't know software engineering but like you know they've been exposed to this one area their whole life you know what i mean or you see yeah. it can go the other way too like let's say you are growing up in a family where your dad works in construction what you like as you see like you growing up and you see like all the pain and all the suffering and all the hard work that your dad puts in right. it makes you want to realize that like no you don't want to do construction you don't want to like work you know your hands you don't want to get tired you don't want to like hurt yourself maybe you want a job where you could just sit down at a desk and just like just do your work like it doesn't yeah. necessarily mean you have to follow it it's kind of like that example like um that i saw once it's like uh there was, a, guy, a father had two kids oh. and the father was an alcoholic one of the kids you know, he became an alcoholic because he's like, oh, I saw my dad become an alcoholic, yeah. so why not? And then the other kid is like, I saw my dad be an alcoholic, so I don't want to be that, so therefore I'm going to go another path. And I feel like it goes the same way with, like, the whole job thing. Like, if your dad like, works at construction and you don't want to work there, you can go another path and you can follow, and you can make, like, your own kind of, like, lifestyle and path. Right, and then most people actually do change, like, for example, majors or um they the minors basically what they're studying in college so if we're if we're able to expose that type of choice beforehand we could eliminate uh so much um like oh i studied uh two years to be a nurse but i like i just found out that that's not what i wanted yeah. there that's i'm going to change majors like that's money wasted so if we could probably like expose a choice early on, we could save so much more money for our education and put it to what we actually do want to get. Exactly, exactly. And going off of what you said, if we were to expose it beforehand and if we were to give more opportunities to like the child to like work hands on instead of like learning, I think that would like help us like or, you know, help our education be like less expensive. You feel me? Like if you want to be a nurse, you don't just like learn about being a nurse. You actually want to try being a nurse, and you actually mm -hmm. want to you actually want to hold the tools that a, like that a nurse uses. You actually want to see the environment. You actually want to see, 
your workspace. I feel like if we would, you know, expose that beforehand, like during high school, and like if there was more like a like more fairs about what you want to do, like yeah. like job fairs. I feel like that would like help like the students like better on be like more like like damn, this is what I want to do, and this is just like what I want to do. Because now, like most kids are like, oh, they get asked, what do you want to do like when you go to college, and they're like. Well, I don't know because, you know, I just come here and I sit all day like, mm -hmm. and I just learned the basics, but I don't know what I want to do because I haven't been exposed to different opportunities that like make me, like help me make my decision. So that's, I feel like that's also a big Honestly, problem. Honestly, dude, like a good idea, like, I don't know, but like, I don't know if this can be done, but like, you know, just make like a, a big list. It's just like, I don't know, like every possible job ever. Cause like, honestly, I feel like there's so much jobs out there that I don't even know about, dude. And it's like, maybe like something like a job fair at my high school, like not not like to hire kids. Like, you know how they have those job fairs yeah. cause it's like that helps you find employment. But how about like a job fair that actually shows you like there's different careers what other than being actually, a nurse. Like, yeah. like some people go into like being like, they, they well, they go into school cause they want to be a nurse cause they want to work in a hospital. But it's like, that's not the end all be all. Like there's so many other titles in a hospital, like, you know, yeah. Something may be more fitting than just a nurse. You're probably just saying nurse, but you really mean something else, but you don't have the words to say, like, you want to be yeah. that thing. Like, Yeah, and I feel like like those are, like, the three, I feel like those would be, like, three major jobs around, like, the whole world, either being, you know, uh, a nurse, working at construction, or a lawyer. And I feel like those are all, like, the three major things. And like you said, like, maybe you don't know exactly what you want to be as a lawyer yeah. or a, a work in construction or as a nurse, but you know you want to go within that general environment. It's because we just, like, hear these things. Yeah. And we hear, like, lawyers get paid, like, a lot, you know what I mean? And we hear, like, doctors get paid a lot. Or, like, if you're a nurse, you make really good money. Yeah. And then we think, like, I don't know. I don't know how the thinking is. I just, I don't, I don't get like the justification for like a lot of these professions. Cause like a lot of people that are ignorant going into college after they graduate from high school, after those four years, they don't know what to do. They just come up with this like random justification of like, yeah. well, I want to be a lawyer because I'm good at arguing. And it's like, is that really the justification, like justification you should be going for? Or like, or like, I want to be a nurse because I want to help sick people. And it's like, yeah. that seems like that that doesn't seem like a solid foundation to build your education just, on like it's just yeah. like i want to do this because the money's good and yeah i can help a couple like sick people yeah that sounds yeah. cool like, also it, it it also goes on to where you have to get something specific because a lot of people say oh i'm gonna be an engineer what type of engineer yeah there's honestly there's so many that. different like dude types like literally subdivisions unm has like their, their library of engineering is open and i was like just walking up and down those aisles and there's so many yeah. different type of like engineering books i was like damn like people like the big the big names that stand out is like oh i want to be a mechanical engineer and it's yeah. like i feel like at this point like the word engineer is just a buzzword just to like get parents giddy at the fact that like their kids are going to college yeah i don't know yeah. but i mean totally makes sense no it does and you know something else that that we like that i feel like is like something big in schools it's just like you said like the buzzwords like you know like the nurse or the lawyer or like the engineer like it's just like it just gets you like basically gets you hyped up like for yeah. what you want to do like in your future yeah. mm -hmm. like you hear like the but word, it ties like, you down to a certain yeah like you you hear the word engineer and you're like oh yeah man like building I like, stuff I feel like, like <laughs> i feel like you can do that totally like engineer yeah but then like you get down to like the nitty-gritty like little pieces and you're like oh i want to be this type of engineer and you're like oh okay like you kind of like see it like more seriously yeah. instead yeah. of just like as kind of as a joke. As a big idea. As, as a big idea, yeah. It's exactly. like you're no longer just telling, like, you, like, now when you actually start, like, getting into, like, getting serious about being an engineer, it's different. It's not like when you're talking with your mom and she tells you, like, what do you want to be? And you say engineer and you think you, you call it a day. Like, when, eventually when you start getting serious about it, you're like, dang, there's more to, like, just saying I'm an engineer. There's saying yeah. things like, like, I don't know, I'm an audio technician or something. Like, there's yeah, just yeah. more titles. I don't know them. Like, I'm just, like... I'm just me. I don't know much. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, totally. And also, I feel once you get down to like the specific, since we're talking about engineering, yeah. once you get down to that specific job that you want to do as an engineer, you put like your like your most like undivided attention and your dedication and like you put your mind to it just to become that. And then I feel when people learn about that and when people see or realize that you want to be that type of engineer, mm -hmm. like they kind of like back off and like try not to like, they don't show us much support because like just because they don't know what to do. So I feel like, like again, if we were to like 
expose this beforehand, like in high school. Yeah. You, you would maybe find at least three or five people that, you know, that want to do the same thing. So therefore you familiarize yourself with them and you stick with them until like you go to college or like, yeah. it just goes on to like different groups. And it's just, that's how like things, it would be better in yeah. high school than just like, just to go sit yeah. down at a desk and just take. So like you're saying in high school, it's basically the preparation for everything. Uh, yeah. I, rem I remember you saying that you wanted to improve the meals and all that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, yeah. Can you? Yeah, of course. So like, uh, it was in freshman year that I went to school and I literally, I went like five minutes early like to go get lunch because, you know, at a Trisco, the line gets like big and we had like two cafeterias and it still gets big. Yeah. So I went five minutes early and I like saw like the cafeteria lady, she just put like some food within the microwave. And, you know, it doesn't make sense to me how in the vending machines, they put stuff that's basically like low fat or like gluten free and all this type of stuff. And they try to like be like healthy about it. Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to like the actual food that they make in the cafeteria, it's just like warming up food. Like it just doesn't make any sense where I feel like I've, I used to have this, uh, this guy that I used to talk to with who I painted a mural with. He's from Canada. Yeah. And he told me that in schools in Canada are so much different. Like you actually like learn what you want to do and like the schools are different. Like they make their food from scratch. Like they yeah. get the ingredients, they get the recipes and they get to work on like high school. They just, you buy boxes of frozen food. And it's you just like convenience, up. bro. It's, it's just, it's just, I feel like it's not also like just convenience. It's just laziness as well. Like yeah. you really just don't want to give us food. So like, what's the point of like trying to be like healthy in other spots when you should be healthy in the main spot? Like which is there's cool. there, yeah there's six or like six or seven what like vending machines in school and they try to be like all healthy about it but when it comes down to the biggest thing of meals within the school because a lot of kids need mm -hmm. there's just like whatever about it like there's just like oh you know, here's the food here's here's your thing just get it like you feel yeah. me like it's just it doesn't make any sense dude I and, oh. um, also going on to what you said about uh your um more uh other countries education yeah I was reading up and uh, on this article, and it said that Switzerland also they had better uh, meal plans than they do here in the United States. Yeah. They go to school for less days and for less hours, and they still have a better educational system than we do. You know, and like in Switzerland, they have like less days and less hours of school. I really also think that the environment which within the school is in that like also like helps like yeah. build the school. Like take example. I know, like, it may be wrong, but take example, La Cueva High School, like, yeah. notice how it, that's in the hills and there's less crime going on over there, therefore, like, there's kids are, like, you know, like, saying out of, like, what, like, violent things or illegal well, things. They got less to worry like, about. Yeah, less to worry about. But when, <laughs> you, well, when you go back to, like, what, like, like, for example, Rio Grande and you see all the things that are going around that neighborhood and you see how that, how that neighborhood lives in poverty and just yeah. how that neighborhood is, like, formed, it's just, like, it makes the school look bad and the, therefore... Yeah. When it makes the school bad, the teachers give up and they don't want to like actually like try to like make the school look better. Therefore, they give up on the students and the students give up and therefore um, end up dropping out and then therefore themselves. handing the low graduation rate. That Damn, they have. That's, that's it, goes, it goes back to almost every single school where you enter with what almost uh, 9000 freshmen or so. Yeah. And then by the end of the year, you only have like 200 seniors. Yeah. yeah it's just, I guess that's what I was trying to say. It was like this, like, you know, the school lunches thing and like us becoming like high schools become more like college just kind of serves as motivation because like as we like learn to excel, look at a certain profession, like a certain profession, it's just kind of like makes us more comfortable to actually like continue and stay motivated. And like this thing, like having better lunches is like something like less for like low income like places to worry about. Like mm -hmm. we yeah. do worry about these things, dude. So it's like you want to build like a school system and expect us to succeed while still paying our bills while like, you know, like trying to help our families pay for like, you know, bills. It's like, you got to help us out somewhere. Like, yeah. Yeah, so we can exactly. stay motivated and we can actually contribute to society or something exactly. like yeah. that. I don't yeah. know. And it all comes down to what's next. What can we do in order to improve on these things? Like, I know it's all just big talk, but it is, it's just, uh, big talk. it's like, what are we going to do after we get out of this studio? Like, yeah. honestly, like, yeah, it's like, well, you gotta really, you gotta ask the source. It's like, what can we do to help you help us? Yeah. yeah. No, I feel like New Mexico in itself has done so much, but there's like still a lot more to do. Like, yeah. There's groups that, or there's groups or people or communities that do fight for what we need, like as an education system. Mm -hmm. But I feel like so. I feel like, like the propaganda or like like how they bring out themselves to be like it's just that little that they don't have like 
that much like connections to other people therefore they're just small and independent and we don't know about them but like if they were to like be people that are committed to it and like actually like push the whole like movement i guess we can call it because it is kind of a movement mm -hmm. if they were to push the movement forward and they would like get big and serious about it then more people would join in and then therefore like the whole state would see it and they'd be like oh maybe we do need to make a change instead yeah. of just being what three kids talking about it with yeah you. honestly compared no. to the whole state